Catherine Shaw with All Among Us. Catherine in the house. Hello, you two. Hi. We've got a little intro on Catherine here. Take a look. Did you have um, blankets that need to be washed? I remember like meeting the first young couple, the first young homeless couple that we met. And we served them for one evening, giving them a tent and some water. And I remember my dad saying, you know, we did what God asked us to do, and now we're done. And I remember thinking, you're right. And then I just could not quit carrying them in my heart. So we try to really hook these people up with extended resources that can help them, whether it's medical, whether they need counseling, um, ways to offer them dignity. We're always, always, always about offering these people dignity and hope. We were contacted by Zion Lutheran Church of Ferguson. And they said, we have this historical, um, beautiful church building that's been sitting here empty for about 10 years. It was built in 1927. And we would like to partner with you and provide you this building for $1 a year rent for 10 years with another option for another 10 years. The agreement was then that we would do all the interior work. This isn't gonna be a center for chronically homeless women. This is a center for women who have that step off the street and they've not yet gotten to the street. But if somebody doesn't step up and walk with them, they could easily be there next week, next year. I can give you all the reasons why I shouldn't be doing this, you know. Um, five years cancer free, a daughter with you know, disabilities, um, health insurance is incredibly expensive. But I can give you all the reasons why. And when God calls you into this, those reasons don't matter anymore. Mm, such an inspirational story. Um, we were blown away meeting you, Catherine, for the first time and uh, what you were doing to serve the homeless in our area. Uh, thank you, first of all. Thank you, guys. Tell me, what, what is being a part of the thread? What did the thread mean for you and your ministry? Sure. So my first memory of the thread um, was when you agreed to go downtown and do homeless with me. And at that time, um, I was doing a lot of laundry um, for people on the streets. Um, but when we were downtown, there would be homeless people a block away who would see you and they would just be like, Tim is L, Tim is L. And they would come like running up the street to meet you. And I didn't know you at that time. And I thought, well, this is just odd that the homeless people on the streets know who you are and know the character within you. And of course that day you donated to me an industrial size washer and dryer. And I think what the thread when I was thinking about this, the impact they've had on my life is that you have provided what I have needed to fulfill my mission and to fulfill what God has called me to. And it's what I watch you guys do for other people and other organizations over and over again is that you give them that little piece they need to go fill what God has called them to do. Hmm. Touched you, didn't it? I, I'm, I'm sitting listening to you and I'm thinking, but that's what you were doing for us that day. Mm -hmm. It was just confirmation that we were supposed to Absolutely. to keep reaching out and that's meeting right. people in St. Louis and, and, mm -hmm. and giving them a voice mm -hmm. so that other people could see what they were doing so that they would want to thread up too. Mm -hmm. You did that for us. And you guys modeled, I think, for so many people in St. Louis how to serve and how to care well. There you go. Yeah. Catherine, thank you so much for being here. Thank you all.